No stomach for honest meat? For honest meat, yes. But I've no stomach for traitors. <laughs> oh. Hi there, welcome to K Reacts. And today we are watching The Adventures of Robin Hood from 1938. So one of my favorite genres of film, if not my absolute favorite genre of film, is Swashbuckler. But despite all this, I haven't actually seen very many. And like, I especially haven't seen very many of the old ones, which I know you guys really love me watching like old classics and stuff. So I took a poll and I asked which old Swashbuckler film should I watch? And this one won by a landslide. Now I am quite familiar with the Robin Hood tales, so I'm not opposed to an adaption. And I also know of Errol Flynn, but I don't think I've seen any of his movies. Which I guess makes sense because he did kind of like define the swashbuckler movie. So I guess if I haven't seen any of the old swashbucklers, it would make sense, right? So I guess let's just see what all the fuss was about. Because you guys have been like praising this movie to the skies in the comments ever since I brought this up. So if it's not good, you should just be ashamed of yourselves for hyping this up like you have been. Anyway, if you like what you see, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, that would be totally awesome because it helps out the channel a lot and I would appreciate it. Also, if you want the full length reaction, I will be putting that on my Patreon page and the link will be down below. Anyway, I'm just gonna quit talking and let's get into it. All right, already getting right into that, like. Long champs? Our king is being held prisoner. Uh -oh. Nothing further is known. Not even more worried than Longchamp, Your Highness. Be more than one. Oh, Basil Rathbone. I know of him, too. I used to watch the old Sherlock Holmes with him as Sherlock Holmes. But I know he usually plays a bad guy. I know, I know of that. Is that Prince John? This man is free born. He's a landowner. You can't make a slave of him. A slave? So, 38. This is around the t same time that... Like Wizard of Oz. Oh my gosh, that was quite the jump. But this is around the same time that Wizard of Oz came out. That's what I was trying to say. So like color was becoming popular. It was a newfangled thing and it was becoming popular. Run! They always trip, don't they? Don't you know it's death to kill the king's deer? Yes, and death from uncle if I don't. Death to kill the king's deer. What, it, what defines the king's deer? Hey, Robin Hood. I guess he's not Robin Hood yet, right? By what right do you interfere with the king's justice? I have better right than you have to misuse it. That oh. goes for your master. Hey, Will? Yes, he has been getting rather out of hand. Is that Will Scarlet? Literally wearing Scarlet? <laughs> Are there no exceptions? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. He's just gonna ride away. He had like a bunch of guards who could, you know, overpower him. I ask no pay, just to follow you. Fetch the deer then. Okay. Wouldn't that make you kind of a slave? <laughs> Sir Guy. Is he in the legends? Because I don't recognize that name. Whoa, no, look at that roast. Yeah, some of these outfits are really giving me like Wizard of Oz vibes. Like they're just so bright. Like they're so bright and obviously costumes, but like they look good, you know? Takes a guy of Gisborne now. One of our most renowned defenders of the realm. Must I take him, Your Highness? He's trying to hook her up with this guy. That he's our most powerful friend in these shires, and he's already in love with you. If I could. <laughs> Any more objections to the new tax from our Saxon friends? So this is interesting, bringing up like the conflict between the Saxons and the Normans. That's something you often don't hear outside of history class. Sir Robin of Loxley. Sir Rob? Oh, not Sir him. 
Sir Robin of Loxley. Well, I've heard Sir places. Robin of Loxley? Yeah, what's his... Oh, nothing less than uh, killing a royal deer in Sherwood Forest today. <gasps> now that! He has the insolence to set himself up as a protector of the people. Oh. I can have him not know that. Well, uh, he's the uh, deadliest archer in England, and uh, my brave high sheriff of Nottingham. That's the sheriff of Nottingham? So we got the guy at Gisborne who's like obviously the big baddie, and then the sheriff of Nottingham who's like whatever. And what is going on here? Wow, that's a very fake deer. But what in the world is happening? Did he kill a king's deer and now he's like, look at what I did? Compliments of your royal brother, King Richard. God bless him. By my faith. <laughs> All the simultaneous. Robin, I hope my lady had a pleasant journey from London. What you hope can hardly be important. <laughs> wow, really? We love a good old, like, hater to lover story, right? Down then, sit down there, opposite me. Get up, Sir Ivor, and give him your place. What? <laughs> get up, get up, Sir Knight. Driver out. <laughs> he gets on the table. <laughs> wow, he's Such so extra. Why you speak treason? Fluently. <laughs> I love that. King Richard appointed Longchamp's regent. I've True. kicked Longchamp out. Oh. From now on, I am regent of England. No stomach for honest meat. For honest meat, yes. But I've no stomach for traitors. <laughs> oh. This man has absolutely no qualms about just what else do you call a man who takes spitting facts. A ransom that'll be used not to release Richard, but to buy your way to the throne. Ooh, I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, there's no way it's for a ransom if it even exists. And I'll never rest until every Saxon in this shire can stand up free men and strike a blow for Richard in England. What are you, an evil villain? Why are you telling them your plan? Well, whoa! Why are there so many women screams? Where are all the women? Ah, here we go. Such impudence, your highness. If I could only reach him. <laughs> this guy. Such impudence. Thur -thur -thur. Holy frick, what is this man? Spider Man? <laughs> the obvious chest plate. But still, they're shooting real arrows at people, chest plate or not. That's kind of uh, like, what if they missed? Jeez. <laughs> These dramatic deaths without blood or anything, just. There's a traitor inside trying to escape. Shut the door, please, Rachel. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh, and then they're gonna <laughs> Big brain move. So what a strange plan. He was just gonna go in and be like, yeah, y'all suck, I hate you, and I'm gonna stop you, bye. I mean, power move. <laughs> These deaths are killing me. No pun intended, but yeah. Ooh, intense shadows. Begin collecting the, uh, the uh, ransom, your highness. Oh yes, is yes, that yes, that what that money was for? He was singing it asleep. Well, you just don't blend in very well in your bright red. There's a lusty infant. He'd be a good one to reason into joining us. Is this little John? Don't they have like a something or other on a bridge? Man. Remember something like that? I've only a staff, and you threaten me with a long bow and a gray goose shaft. Aren't you man enough? Wait. What, you can't walk through the river? <laughs> it's a matter of personal pride. <laughs> well, that's me. Hey there, yes. Man, so funny, these, these hits, like, just have no, have, like, no impact. <laughs> There's your change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Then I'm right glad I fell in with you. It was he who did the falling in. <laughs> <laughs> Robin of Loxley is declared an outlaw and condemned to death. Please, Robin, and show it at Gallows Any person. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, everyone doesn't care about the death sentence. 
While he reigned over us, his we outfit lived in is so but since Prince John has seized like the regency, sparkly or something. <laughs> like the, the velvet cape. If you're willing to fight for our people, I watch you. Are you with me? Hey! Oh, gosh, there's so much reading. Bring it up again. Uh. Oh, his sparkly outfit is gone. Oh. <laughs> I'll never get over these death. Ooh, I like how the candle went out with that too. Oops. You question my valor. <laughs> Am I not personally commanding the force to go to the guy in Lady Marion to Kenworth Castle? He's Guard supervising, don't worry. Oh, this fryer tuck. That fryer's one of the most dangerous swordsmen. Oh, I see. Uh, playing a joke. Poor old Robin. He just brought a huge old leg of meat with him. Bless my soul, a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs way too hard at things that are moderately funny. I live in the forest with a few score good fellows who've everything in life save spiritual guidance. And no merit but what? What's that? We're outlaws. He's not very good at pitching his stuff. He just kind of says the worst of the worst instead of like, Hey, like, this is why you like it. Oh my goodness. My good friar, why? <laughs> good one. There's so much fat shaming. There's that laughing again. Now I see why they're called merry men. I, that is an apt description. Ha! What say you, lads? Ah! Yeah! Stop <laughs> laughing. Why are you always doing that? Are you all simple or something? <laughs> You'd have said that before you to save this both a wedding. Come along, man. Exactly. He's not good at pitching to people, like, why they should come with him. Because he always fights them first, and then they come. Is this going to be a habit? Friar Tuck, take half the deer in Sherwood Forest to fill that cavern. <laughs> Why? And twice that to fill your empty head. Oh. It's all right, he's one of us. One of us? He looks like three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, my. Where did they get such exquisite vines? Are we going to see an actual, like, robbing of the rich? There they come. Did I hear correctly? It's Sir Guy. Like, what does he have? Just stuff? Or is it taxes? He wouldn't dare to attack us. Yeah, are you sure? Oh. Man, they never saw it coming. These guards suck. They just literally, like, come right out of the tree like monkeys. Jeez, how many are there? I always thought of Robin Hood's band of merry men as, like, a relatively small group of men. Welcome to Sherwood, my lady. So cocky, but warranted. So what, they're just taking them prisoner? Whoa. How many roasts have they got going on? I want to be at this party. You were even a little pleased to see them enjoying themselves? I think it's revolting. All right, Marion. I'm afraid the company has spoiled my appetite. Ah, oh, Miss Fortune. Now, mine is excellent. He just does not give any... He does not care whatsoever about <laughs> what anybody thinks. About 30,000 golden marks wrested from the Northern Shire. You wouldn't dare. Sit down! <laughs> I suppose you and your band of cutthroats intend to send this treasure to Richard? You wouldn't dream of keeping it yourselves. Friends! What shall we do with this treasure? Divide it amongst ourselves? Hold it for Richard! It belongs to the king! Hey! But once these poor people were all happy and contented, just simple villagers who never harmed a soul. And now, tortured, eyes put out, tongue slit, ears hacked off. Well. No, you're strange because you want to do something about it. You're willing to defy Sir Guy, even Prince John himself, to risk your own life. I think what's strange is not wanting to do something about it. It's actually doing something about it. Because you can be all talk. 
I do begin to see a little now. She turned around really quick. I mean, granted, seeing bodies everywhere. <laughs> that outfit is kind of silly. Do you think you would have left this forest alive if it hadn't been for her presence here? Well, snap. Goodbye, my lady. Goodbye. Bye, Marion. Oh, man. Submitting already, huh? Have one little conversation about death and torture, and you're like, oh. Take note, everyone. That's how you do it. Uh, your Highness, uh, I could muster an army and uh, surround Sherwood. The entire forest. Perhaps we can't take him by force. He's too well Oh, the tournament, no right? Hidden past. Whether he be dressed as priest or beggar, knight or palmer, what disguise can conceal the finest archer in England? True. So how obvious is Robin Hood's disguise going to be here? Well, she is really pretty, though. Where's your sporting blood? So guy accepted our invitation? Would be rude not to accept his. <laughs> Seriously, this guy gives zero cares of the world. Like, he is the ultimate YOLO. I mean, as far as disguises go, you can obviously tell it's him, but but it doesn't do very much to like disguise his face or anything. Just kind of like a <laughs> But he's not wearing green. How could you tell it's Robin Hood? I... Ooh. Why did you let me deal with this wolf's head in my own way? Done. I'm leaving for Norwich immediately after the tournament anyway. So you may do what you please with him. I don't like the sound of that. Oh! Hey. But what's gonna happen? Advance. It's kind of tense. <laughs> I mean, you could definitely tell how, like, modern movies would play this up more, but it's still kind of like... Oh no! Ah, oh, blood and everything. What kind of a slap? <laughs> sorry, I underestimated you, sir, guy. Next time, perhaps. Never been on next time. You kind of do that a lot. I'm sorry to say, Robin. You always think like, oh, I'm gonna be the best, and then you're not. Haven't you forgotten a count or two? Surely it's a crime under the noble Prince John to love one's country. Protect serfs from injustice and be loyal to one's king. Oh! Keep the charge. Oh, oh. Shots fired. And they are hanged by the neck until you are dead. That's all he had in store for him? He's like, I want to deal with him my own way. Like, he just wants to hang him? Those are like, not real chains. I hate to see a human being trapped in... Just a human being. He's just, that's all he is to me. Boy. Imagine if we still had like public deaths like this. Like, oh, someone being put to death for whatever. Everyone come watch. What is gonna happen? Oh boy. Well, he was just ready to go. Oh! Those poor horses are like, what the F? Oh my goodness. Well, that's got to be super frustrating for them. That close. They had him. And then he escaped. He's brave and he's reckless. Oh, boy. He's, yet he's gentle and kind. He's not brutal like... You haven't talked to him since that one time. <laughs> oh, dear. Then there's nothing doubt of it. Doubt of what? You're in love. <laughs> oh, no, that's awkward. After what I couldn't help overhearing about that uh, prickly feeling, I'm very glad I did come. Well, how do you know it's about you? She didn't say your name. I join it? We'll start where you're in love with me. You are, aren't you? Because I am with you. Terribly. Oh. That's why I came. I had to see you. Mm-hmm. You must go at once. He really is the type to just cut to the chase, isn't he? Uh-oh. I feel like his coming on. You know you're very impudent. Me? You are. You said it. He wouldn't just walk in. This is saucy. Three whole kisses. Oh, another one. Whoa! I am being overwhelmed with romance. This is so classic though, like climbing up to her window. I'm a sucker for that. 
if it's done well. And old movies just know how to do it, don't they? You gentlemen have traveled far. This movie just loves their roasts, don't they? Robin Hood again, sire. Is that the king? You gentlemen be remaining here tonight? We hadn't decided you. I'll have no part to do as you're told. That's very simple. Uh, well, if you're going to come here and be snitching on the king, then you're just part of it. Just how it is. Marion, you're kind of stressing me out. Thank you. What are you doing? Your Majesty. How did they not see her? Oh, I would have gone so much faster. No, they saw her. That's the most stressful part of this movie so far. Didn't you give her the letter? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're gonna search her things. No. How did he know it was in there? I guess it was a very obvious hiding spot. I, I'd do it again if you killed me for it. Prophetic speech, my lady. Oh. Whoa, that is a full-on blade. What just happened? <laughs> they don't see him? Greetings, sir. They're gonna rob the king. Are you friendly to our good King Richard? I love no man better. <laughs> ah, then you blame Prince John. No, I blame Richard. This task was here at home, defending Ooh. his own people. He doesn't know that's Richard, does he? <laughs> what do you mean? Where is he? Yeah. Oh, stop. He's like wearing his full on armor. <laughs> stop. Awkward. You weren't you just talking smack? <laughs> the tattletale. You sweat the lard out of that fat carcass of yours before this day's over, my pudgy friend. Why is there so much fat shaming? Even the king. Stop it. Doesn't it look like she's about to like break into song. <laughs> From this moment forward, I, John, am king of England. <laughs> Aren't you a little premature, brother? Awkward! <laughs> the sound effect of the swords are just so... Alright, here we go. Final boss fight. Oh heck yes. On the stairs. Ah, and the dramatic shadows. <laughs> These dramatic close-ups. Oh! Did he stab him? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. But Richard, Richard, I thought... I oh, murdered. shut up. I banish you and your followers from England for the remainder of my lifetime. For the remainder of my lifetime? Mm, I would say forever. Is there nothing England's king can grant the outlaw who showed him his duty to his country? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. But my first command to you, well. my Lord Earl, is to take in marriage the hand of the Lady Marion. Command? May I obey all your commands with equal pleasure, sire? Bye. All right, well, that was The Adventures of Robin Hood. Very fun. I loved it. As I mentioned before, it was, like, extremely impressive considering the time period it came out in. Like, the stunts, the costumes, the fact that it's in color, and, like, just the choreography, and how, like, all of it got coordinated. Like, it's crazy to think about, especially considering, like, how difficult it was to edit and film back then. Like, that's why movies like this and The Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind and movies like that that came out back then, like, that's the reason they were just so popular. And they were just major blockbuster films, like, because they had all those elements in them. And they're just so incredible, like, even today. But it is, like, a different style of filmmaking. But it's something to be admired, I think. Because it's interesting to see, like, the progression of filmmaking. Like, how it's changed through the years. Because um, it's things, 
like this that have laid the foundation for movies we like know and love today, you know? But while I appreciate it, doesn't mean I won't laugh at certain things uh, like the melodramatic deaths or the super dramatic close-ups or the over-the-top acting or whatever, you know? Uh, it's just kind of funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it was a very good swashbuckler film. I definitely saw the swashbuckler elements in it, uh, particularly that end fight scene. Loved it. Uh, like I said, this genre is just one of my favorites, and so I thanks for the recommendation, guys, and thank you for voting in the poll. Well, anyway, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be totally awesome. I would appreciate it, and you will appreciate it. <laughs> And if you want the full length reaction, it will be on my Patreon page and you can check out that link down below. Well, I guess thank you for joining me and I will see you next time on K Reacts.